This is the print and cut training video for Trotec Vision Systems on Trotec Laser Systems. To start, go ahead and design the graphic file. It is easier to select a clip art or a vectorized clip art typically when designing a print and cut file. However, any type of design file will work pending that few things are followed. In this case, I will be importing a vectorized or vector format PDF of a guitar. Place and size the graphic into the field. And then we need to add our registration points. The registration points need to be black circles. They can be placed as many as necessary. Typically at least three are necessary in order to work properly. Recommended registration mark diameter is one quarter of an inch or 0.25 inches or smaller, nothing larger. Registration points need to be filled circles in order to work properly. And we will need multitudes of them for more accuracy. At least three are necessary in order to control size, scale, and rotation, but more can be placed for higher accuracy, as many as necessary. And they can be placed anywhere outside the graphic itself. Once the registration points have been added to the digital graphic, we then want to copy this image to create the cut file. This can be done in two separate layers, or in this case, as I have it set for separate pages. You can additionally add extra pages by pushing this little plus key right here, and you can right click on each page and name them. As I've shown here, I have one page set as print, and I have another one set as cut. I've copied and pasted into the same location, the same file into each page in this case. And now I'm going to ungroup this image, this vectorized image, and break it apart, leaving only the outline of the guitar. Now select the guitar's outline and convert it to a cut line, which in this case will be red, and remove the fill so that we now have our laser cut file. For the registration points, the print file needs to be solid black circles, but for the cut file when for registration, they need to be black outline circles in this case. Both are hairline in size, and now we have our laser cut file, and we have our print file, one on each page in the same orientation and position, exactly the same orientation and position. So as we toggle back and forth, we can now send one to the printer. This can be printed, of course, on any material. It can be printed on a UV printer, it can be a solvent-based printer, fabric printer, um, and in this case, I'm just gonna print onto a good old-fashioned paper printer to show the process. Print out the graphic onto the paper. You can as well place the paper with an adhesive backing onto a board or wood or acrylic if you would like. Now we want to install the camera. Take the camera out and slide it gently onto the focus head if your system is set up for a camera. And then use the two brass thumb screws to adhere the camera to the system. Once the camera is installed, it should look like this. We're now gonna place the cut or the printed object onto the field and focus onto the surface of that material. Now we're gonna go ahead and send our cut file to job control. We're gonna select our cut file off of our field or if we're using layers, we're gonna select that layer. And then we're gonna print that file to job control. Select the laser as the printer. And then go into preferences of properties to identify the power settings or material. In this case, we're gonna go actually into the material settings and select the, the material paper. 
And within paper, we're going to use the preset for cut on red, but we're going to make certain that the color black, in this case, color needs to be converted to reg mark, which identifies registration mark. We'll then go ahead and hit print. Make sure when I'm printing this that I'm printing only the selection or that page, and then print that to job control. Place the paper into the machine, and then gently place one of the registration points under the red dot pointer. Go into job control, and then select that same object, and then match that same registration point to the registration pointer, which is shown on the screen. The registration pointer on the screen needs to match the, register or the red dot pointer for basic orientation. Then go ahead and start the file. When you start the file, the camera registration will find each registration point accurately, and then the laser will proceed to cut the actual product out. If for some reason the registration points are not found correctly, some adjustment may need to be done or a calibration needs to be done initially. Consult your manual or our service department if for some reason the camera registration needs to be calibrated. This is typically done the first time. Once the part is cut, as you can see here, perfect cut. No bleed was on this file. There's no excess ink left onto the paper on the right side here. And there is no white at any point on the actual guitar in this case, indicating an absolute perfect laser cut. This can be done, of course, with any cuttable materials that have been pre-printed with this process. If you would like to know more, please contact our website at chotechlaser.com.